relatively in lower income families and communities. Here's Danielle Smith with a report. The most recent proposal would direct an additional $1 billion to K-12 through education, affecting more than 1.7 million students, and does not include any funding for school voucher programs. Author Steinberg is president of the American Federation of Teachers in Pennsylvania. He says the Educational Investment Tax Credit Program allows parents to send students to private and religious schools if they think the public schools is underperforming, siphoning funds from public schools. They they go to schools which are allowed to permitted to discriminate based on any factor of religion, gender, political beliefs, anything they want. There's no restriction on that money and there's no accountability for how it is spent. The choice really goes to the schools, not students. So there's no benefit to them whatsoever. Steinberg points out Senate Bill 1057 introduced this month would fund $300 million in scholarships for students at non-public schools when public schools are underfunded by $5.4 billion according to the Commonwealth Court ruling. He adds that diverting funds widens gaps without improving education or equity. Is your name Noah or Charlotte? If it is, you've got a popular name. Allegheny Health Network reported their 10 most popular baby names chosen by parents delivering their newborns in 2023. Topping the charts for last year were Noah and Charlotte for the top boy and girl names, followed closely by Owen and Olivia for third and and fourth place. Out of the 3,200 different baby names chosen by parents delivering last year at AHN facilities, over 2,100 were original to the network, being used only one time. And the Biden administration says it's distributing another $5.8 billion for water infrastructure projects around the country, paid for by one of its key legislative victories. The money will go to projects in all 50 states, bringing the total awarded to states for water infrastructure projects to $22 billion. It comes from the $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure law that President Joe Biden signed into law during his first year in office. Vice President Kamala Harris and Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Michael Regan are set to formally unveil the plans at an event in Pittsburgh today. Our newscast this hour is being brought to you by St. Barnabas, the perfect place for mom. I'm Patty. And I'm Bob. We're retired, and we live at St. Barnabas in the village. We used to have a house. Lived in it for 40 years. Raised our kids. But it became too much. The upkeep, the stairs. Moving seemed like such a hassle. We didn't even know where to start. So we didn't. Until we met Cindy at St. Barnabas. She talked us through our options. Yeah. And she helped us with our move and all the arrangements. There was so much stuff. Who knew we had three fondue pots? (laughs) But she made it easy. Uh, So easy. Now we enjoy ourselves. Golf, the pool, new friends, shuttles to where we want to go. The pub and the food. So good. There wasn't a long-term commitment or any large fees. And they have a healthcare system on campus with doctors if we need it. The kids really like that. The kids like to come and eat with us. There's an easier, worry-free way to retire at the Village at St. Barnabas. Come visit us for a free and informative counseling session and personal tour. I can't believe you waited so long. I can't believe you waited so long. (laughs) Visit stbarnabashealthsystem.com or call 724-443-0700. Here's the Beaver County forecast. A chilly start to the morning, but we will see warmer weather for the next few days. Today, look for sunny skies with a high near 50. Clear skies tonight, brisk and colder with a low of 28. And more sunshine is on the way tomorrow. We'll see a high near 56. I'm Lisa Marie with your Beaver County weather. On this Tuesday, February the 20th of 2024, at 10 after 9, we've got a temperature of 30 degrees with sunny skies in Beaver County. That's a look at the news for now. I'm Curtis Walsh for 99.3 FM and AM 1230 WBVP, also streaming live around the world at beavercountyradio.com. Now, it's time to talk on Teleforum on Beaver County Radio. 1230 WBVP, 1460 WMBA, 99.3 FM, and beavercountyradio.com. And now, here is the host of the show, Eddie Crow. It is Teleforum. It's a special day on Teleforum. A couple of reasons. One, Tom Young starts it. Two, Tom Young being here means that 
I really don't have to do that much. Good to see you. I do want to ask you something. <laughs> last, yes, sir. Was it last Monday? Last Monday. Last yes. Monday. I was unavoidably detained, and you filled in for me. Thank you for doing that. You're Number welcome. One. How was it? I, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, you know, I, I, I covered a lot of ground. We mm-hmm. had, had two guests, uh, the Honorable Bob McEwen from Ohio, former legislator from Ohio, and, Ohio. And, and he's the executive director of a think tank in Washington uh, uh, about conservative partners is, is the name of it, CNP something, and, and uh, right. but had a great, great conversation. I was able to ask him a couple of uh, very deep questions. Uh, did it get and, a, when I'm here, it never gets philosophical. Did well, it get philosophical? Well, he, he, he is, he is into what's going on in, in, in America and around the world. Okay. Uh, and, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that today. The first segment today is going to be that, you know, what's going on, the, you know, the nasty what's stuff. And then the second segment, we're going to talk about what can I do for me to survive what's coming and, and, and still prosper. In, inside the world that we're in right now. Tom Young of First Consultants is my guest. If you listen to the program regularly, you've heard Tom before. This is being live streamed on our Facebook page and uh, Tom on your Facebook page, I'm assuming. Yes, I just there just, you are. Just, just went live. We're, we're, we're live around the world. And, and uh, last Monday, I had a couple of people from South Africa on 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 isn't the that a, but I, I it, it blows me away isn't Eddie, that cool the people that i the lives that i touch obviously around the world otherwise they wouldn't listen to what i'm talking about or what i'm saying isn't Folks, that cool I, i'm tom young and we're here to change your future you know i can't go back and and change the past but we can sure work at making the ending look better than what you think it's going to be so I'm a financial coach, a business coach, a personal coach. I, 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 my goal and mission in life is uplifting people and helping them find their way to their dreams and goals. We start every program with a prayer uh, for everybody in the world. This virus that has gone around the world, they're talking about some bubonic plague that I saw last week. So maybe that's the next scary pandemic that the World Economic Forum are planning for us to uh, to get us under control. But our prayers go out for those who have been affected by the virus that did come out of the Wuhan lab in China that's owned and operated by the CCP, which is the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, so was it released? Was it an accident? Uh, I, I think that's a question for debate uh, in what's going on. But people have had their health impaired. People have lost loved ones. So our prayers go out for those for a healing so that their health would be restored. We pray for those who have lost loved ones, and we pray especially for the loved ones who have been lost, that the Lord would gather them in his arms and take them to his kingdom of heaven above. We add our prayers for Ukraine and Russia that these idiot men would somehow find the way to peace. I'm blown away that nobody is approaching it that way. Everybody just wants to spend money. I guess there's enough people making money on the arms sales that they're not ready to make peace yet. They haven't made enough money. Uh, So our prayers go out for those folks, and our prayers go out especially for Israel. And, and, and what happened in Israel in October was, was truly, truly uh, a, a preposterous, unbelievable event that, that occurred. And, 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 and the people around the world are, are, are hooting for the, for the ones who did it and not the ones who got beat up and raped and maimed and babies with their heads cut off. But anyway, we pray to the Lord our Father. Amen. Uh, Eddie, the, the prayer gets harder all the time when I look at the news every day, what's going on around the world. And, and, and the only way it's going to stop is, is when the people stand up and, and, and make a statement. Too many people are sitting on their, their buns. And, and, uh, it's Too many going people over the, are it's, sitting on their wallets. It's, their, it's going over their head. They've got to stand up and let it hit them in the chest. Uh, yeah, folks, I'm an author of several books, and everything that I'm about is about financial success. It, it, it's about finding your way because financial success has, has to do with everything in your life. More than 50% of the divorces in, in the world happen because of financial stress and problems. So I would think that financial problems and things are, are, are a priority. 
And people have been led to believe that you do this, this, and this, and oh, you're going to be okay. Put all you can in your 401k and your qualified retirement plan, and everything's going to be fine. But it ain't. It, it doesn't work out mathematically, and, and that's why I'm, I'm confounded why people uh, are, aren't willing to look at the math and, and the proof that goes into putting these things together. And as I get started today, I want to I want to share my coin. I I, I I I saw mine. Mine is on my bedroom dresser. Okay, that's where it sits. Every time I see it, I I think of fiscal responsibility. Today is or, or today is the beginning, and and I did it last week on the radio show. Mm-hmm. If you if you like what I talk about, all I ask you to do is send me an email. The email address is fired up t f i r e d u p t at comcast.net. Send me a, a comment on on your thoughts, good, bad, indifferent. I'm I'm you know I can handle it. Uh, whatever you want to put on there, and and send me your mailing address. And, and I'm going to send you an autographed copy of my book. Now, in every book that I send out, there's a gift in the book, and that's this little coin. And, and I'm going to show it here, and, and you can see it over there. It's cool. It's, it, it, it's it, heavy. It, it, it is unique. When this, this coin was several years ago, I was in Florida at a conference at the convention center. And across the road in another segment of the convention center, there was a coin show. Hmm. And I went over there walking around the coin show, and, and, and I found this guy. His name was Philip. I'll think of his last name in a minute, but right. it was Great American Mint Company was the name of the company. And he had all these little copper coins and they had all kind of little diagrams on them. And I asked him, I says, do you custom make these? And, and, and he said, yeah. He says, what, what do you want? I says, and I gave him some information about my company. And on one side of the coin, you can see it, it says first, the numeral one, there it is over there, numeral one, uh, ST, that's first consultant thing. So, but underneath of it, it says, in God we trust. So we never want to forget that. And the first on there between you and I, as, as any kind of a business or relationship, you're always first. I'm a licensed fiduciary, and all the advice that I give people as a fiduciary has to be what I would do with all of my knowledge, bang the, with all of my knowledge, what would I do if I were in your circumstances? That, the, in my, that's my definition of what a fiduciary is. What I would do if I were you with all of my knowledge. On the back side of the coin, there's, there's a hologram of a building. Now, if you've seen my building in Beaver, that, that's my building in Beaver. Uh, but there's an eagle there over top of the building. It is a very crisp design. It, it, it is. It is. And, and uh, it, it is kind of neat. And when you look at it, that eagle, I find the most important thing of all. And when I had these made, this was not in my mind on, on what I was doing. It was a gift in a dream from God above that, that I could use this to touch people's lives. Because, see, I believe that there's an eagle inside the heart of every human being. I spend every day of my life helping people let the cage out, open the cage door and let the eagle out and let it fly. Because that's how you make dreams and goals in life come true. You have to believe, you have to have confidence, and that's the concept of, of the eagle that we have for our country's bird, etc. And this thing will tarnish after a while, just an ounce of copper, but I hope and believe that it'll be something, you, it's on your dresser, it's on your desk at work, and it's a reminder, a reminder that you never quit and you never, ever give up. And that's the message of the coin. And if you like one and a copy of my book, send me an email, make a comment about my show, what you liked about, what I talked about, what you didn't like, what I talked about, I don't care. Uh, And send me a mailing address and I will mail you an autographed copy for free of my book. I want to ask you a question about something you just said. The eagle and letting out the eagle from your heart. Is there a time limit? Is it, can it be too late? No, to do? I, I, I have I have people. I had a couple in my office not too long ago, uh, and and they were in their early sixties, and 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 they were just 
sort of distraught. They, they, they believed they were going were gonna to be okay. They were terrified of retirement. They had no idea whether they had enough or not. And they, nobody, they were at the age where they were looking right, they're, at they're, the they're numbers. They're looking at retirement mm-hmm. and, 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 you know, do I have enough? Remember those four questions? How much money do you have? How much interest do you got to earn? What's the date? And, and how much are you going to have to lower your lifestyle? And, and so we went through all of that. And, and I was able to show them how if they, if they just hung in for a few more years mm. to age 70, because remember I talk about it, the actual retirement age today is age 87. It is not 65. That's a government number. Mm-hmm. That same number has been in place since 1933. 1933 life expectancy was 59 years old. Today, a 65-year-old, average 65-year-old male is 84, and female is age 86. And, and, and we work 30 years, and then we're going to live 30 years, and we hope we have enough money to last 30 years to and pay us pay raises, work. et cetera. Right. And, and, and the financial planning world, uh, what they taught me was in retirement planning, you, you should expect to, to get to have maybe 60 to 70 percent of your working income in retirement that's it and 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 i say okay so that means if i'm still working today i should be able to take a 20 to 30 percent 30 25 to 35 percent pay cut today from my lifestyle and put it away and save more money I, i i don't i've not met anybody eddie in 48 years i've been doing this that could take a 30 percent pay cut and 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 maintain their lifestyle. You ain't looking and, at one and, now. And put it and put it away. That you know there were so many. I I don't want to call them misleading direction. You know it, it sounded better than lies. But misleading direction is 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 what is happening to all of these things. So, bunk bunkum. Call it bunkum. I, I, you know, uh, bunk, what was that? The the bunko squad they used to call that. That's the, wine. The, the, the bunka. bunkum. <laughs> bunkum. That's a load of hooey. It, 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 it is, and and it, it, I have some sayings today that I want to share. Cakeless eggs ain't cake. I agree one hundred percent. So retirement planning. Retirement, less planning, proper planning, ain't retirement. You won't be able to afford cake. You won't be able to retire. The electronic income reducer, do you know what that is? No. TV. Oh. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) you're you're exactly correct. It's not enough to wire the world if you short-circuit your soul. Can't teach what you don't know, you can't lead where you won't go. The one before that, the, what was the one before that? It's not enough to wire the world yeah. if you short circuit your soul. You should put that on a T-shirt. Uh, that would that would be a, that would be. I a, would wear the heck out of a that, T-shirt that, would be that a said great that. T-shirt, yes, okay. it would. And then and then snyops. I'm These sorry? are the people that you got to learn how to avoid in your life. Oh, please tell me. Significant negative uh, influence of other people. What if I'm one of those people, though? <laughs> I'll pray for you. Eddie. I appreciate it. I, <laughs> I'll, I'll pray for you, Eddie. That and, is such and, that, and that, what we're doing here. That's such a southern response. Tom Young is my guest, the first consultants. That that's you when somebody has no answer for your question and they just go, <laughs> Oh, bless your heart. That's exactly what you just did. That uh, was great. Bless your heart, Eddie. Bless your bless, heart. Bless your it, heart. It, it, you know. So so let let's talk about Nine lessons. And my friend Lenny Rainier, this is a lesson in history, and we'll get it done before the news. I'm going to go through, and then we'll talk about some solutions after the news. But, but these nine lessons, now Lenny Rainier, my friend, and he's been on here a guest, and I'm probably going to have him back here in another month or so, and, and he, he's written several books. This book is called Essential Lessons. Now, this book is from more than 10 years ago, Eddie. That's important to think about. This book, is from more than 10 years ago. So these lessons, the first lesson is Washington is broke. Lack of leadership and planning for the last 50 years. One of the best leaders we've had, Donald Trump, made things happen more than anybody else. I don't care whether you like him or not, he got things done. Why are the deep state trying to destroy him so desperately to keep him from coming back? The loss of the family, once the center point, morals, 
ethics, values, all came originally from the family made in America, which made America great. And, and lack of it reduces common sense and personal responsibility. When we look at the news and we see what's going on in the big cities, where did the responsibility go? Size of the government. Last 50 years, the size of the government has grown three and a half times faster than the economy. The media manipulation, no longer factual news, instead editorialized and opinionized to meet agendas. Educational productivity. We're falling behind. Levels is declining. Government throws more money at the same broken system. Educational institutions seem also have an, they also have an agenda. Look up the Fabian Society. The, the key to all of this, the Fabian Society, becomes more expensive without better results. Energy dependency. Remember, Len wrote this over 10 years ago. America's absolute and newest be, become energy leaders. Uh, yeah, become ener- newest resources. Re- can't read my own writing. America's ability and resources to become energy independent. Leaders of the world, but ignorance keeps getting in the way. What is the agenda? It, 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 oh, I'm sorry. Another page. There it is. America's debt dependency. During the Cold War, we outspent Russia, USSR, out of existence at the current spending levels. Our government is doing the same to us, what we did to Russia, the USSR. International debt, piece by piece, bit by bit, we are selling our nation to other countries. Foreign nations will have the power to determine our future and influence our course of action. Was it, what is and is about to be, individually each of the elements could cause havoc in a society. The thought of dealing with all of the other concerns all at one time is overwhelming. Each of these has something in common, government involvement. I want to get deeper on several of those. It's 28 minutes after 9 o'clock. Tom Young of First Consultants is my guest. It's Teleforum. Curtis Walsh has news next on Beaver County Radio. Stop by your local McDonald's today and pick up everyone's favorites, the Shamrock Shake and Oreo Shamrock McFlurry, now available through March 24th. Don't miss out on these fan favorites. Shamrock Shake and Oreo Shamrock McFlurry, now at McDonald's. I'm loving it. Here is a question that is very easy to answer. Would you rather be sold something or get professional help and advice that ultimately leads to a strategy that best suits your needs? Tom Young at First Consultants, Inc. and Beaver has a unique approach that has won over the trust of even the most skeptical clients. Everybody that's selling is looking for a profit. I focus on creating strategies that are in the client's best interest. Ask yourself this, what have you got to lose? The answer might be a fortune. Get financial strategies instead of a pitch about a product. Visit firstconsultantsinc.com or be a part of Tom Young's live simulcast presentation on the third Tuesday of each month beginning at 9, 10 a.m. on Beaver County Radio and Facebook Live. All advisory services are offered through PL Wealth LLC. PL Wealth is a federally registered investment advisor. PL Wealth is no way affiliated with First Consultants, Inc., nor is First Consultants, Inc. a registered investment advisor. Congressman Chris Deluzio, and I'm fighting for my fellow veterans to get the VA health care they earned. That's why I'm proud to announce new free wheelchair accessible shuttles every Tuesday for Beaver County veterans who need to get to appointments at the University Drive VA in Oakland. Shuttles will arrive in time for 9 a.m. appointments and return by 3.30 p.m. Book your VA appointments on Tuesdays and then call 724-709-6005 option 2 to reserve a seat in the van. Paid for by official funds by the House of Representatives. Do you like sports? Then tune in every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. for One Man's Opinion on Sports with Brian Pasquale. Brian is loaded with statistics and interesting sports viewpoints. The show can also be seen on the WBBP-WNBA Facebook page. Plus, Brian will be taking your calls as well. That's One Man's Opinion on Sports with Brian Pasquale. Every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. on Beaver County Radio. Beaver County Radio's news source, 95.7 and 99.3 FM, along with 1230 WBVP, 1460 WMBA, 
and streaming at beavercountyradio.com. Here's Curtis Walsh. Good morning. We can expect sunny skies today with a high near 48 degrees. We'll have a complete Beaver County radio weather forecast after this look at news. State Representative Rob Matzi issued a statement in response to news that the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection has approved Penn Energy's amended permit to withdraw water from the Big Swickley Creek for fracking operations. In the statement, Matsey says the creek is a vital natural resource for fresh water in the area. It's stocked with trout and supports a variety of wildlife nearby. And in some years, parts of the creek dry up during hot summer months. He goes on to say that he believes protecting the creek, instead of trying to fix it after it's damaged, should be the most important part of the decision-making process. Turnpike officials are requesting people in Western PA to watch out for a loose dog. The dog is described as being brown with an orange collar and was reported loose on I-76 West between the Cranberry and Beaver Valley exits around 10.30 a.m. Monday. Turnpike maintenance crews quickly cleared the area but did not find the dog. Anyone who sees it is asked to dial pound 11 and advise the dispatcher of the Malpost location. Gas prices are a bit higher in Western PA this week, up 13 cents at $3.65 per gallon, according to AAA East Central's gas price report. The average price for a gallon of gas will run you $3.64 currently here in Beaver County. Pennsylvania's Teachers Union is voicing concerns that the state's public school voucher program will negatively affect public education in lower-income families and communities. Danielle Smith has this report. The most recent proposal would direct an additional $1 billion to K-12 education, affecting more than 1.7 million students, and does not include any funding for school voucher programs. Author Steinberg is president of the American Federation of Teachers in Pennsylvania. He says the Educational Investment Tax Credit Program allows parents to send students to private and religious schools if they think the public schools is underperforming, siphoning funds from public schools. They go to schools which are allowed to permitted to discriminate based on any factor of religion, gender, political beliefs, anything they want. There's no restriction on that money and there's no accountability for how it is spent. The choice really goes to the schools, not students. So there's no benefit to them whatsoever. Steinberg points out Senate Bill 1057 introduced this month would fund $300 million in scholarships for students at non-public schools when public schools are underfunded by $5.4 billion according to the Commonwealth Court ruling. He adds that diverting funds widens gaps without improving education or equity. Hundreds of Penn State students have raised more than $16.9 million for pediatric cancer patients in the annual 46-hour dance marathon known as THON. The total was announced Sunday afternoon at the conclusion of the Penn State Interfraternity Council Panhellenic Dance Marathon. It topped last year's total of just over $15 million. Money raised benefits pediatric cancer patients and their families at the Penn State Milton S. Hershey Medical Center. Child cancer survivors and their families also participate along with the dancers, who are helped by thousands of other students in support roles. Officials say the dance marathon has helped more than 4,800 families over more than five decades. Here's the Beaver County Forecast. A chilly start to the morning, but we will see warmer weather for the next few days. Today, look for sunny skies with a high near 50. Clear skies tonight, brisk and colder with a low of 28. And more sunshine is on the way tomorrow. We'll see a high near 56. I'm Lisa Marie with your Beaver County weather. On this Tuesday, February the 20th of 2024, at 35 after 9, we've got a temperature of 30 degrees with sunny skies in Beaver County. That's a look at the news for now. I'm Curtis Walsh for 99.3 FM and AM 1230 WBVP, also streaming live around the world at beavercountyradio.com. Talk about what's happening in Beaver County or around the world on Teleforum, 724-843-1888, 724-774-1888. It's Teleform with Eddie Crow. It is, and it's a special day. It's always cool when Tom comes by, Tom Young of First Consultants. This is being live streamed. It's on the station Facebook page once I click it. And you mentioned something. You were going down a list of 
these things were written 10 years ago. More than 10 years One ago. One of the things that you talked about, the media manipulation. Yes. Is that our fault that we allow it to happen? How much of it is our it, fault it, that we allow well, it Eddie, to happen? You know, here's the thing. You know, I've been coming to this radio station since back in the 80s, off and on. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. But, but more on than off. And, and what is the question that I always ask you when I'm coming on the radio station? Am I, what, what are my limitations? What can I talk about or what can I not talk about? You can talk the, about the, whatever you I, want other exactly, than bad it, words. It, it, exactly. Unless it's a and, sign. And, and, and last Monday, mm-hmm. I mean, I covered a gamut of, of topics from everything from election fraud to, to whatever. I mean, we covered a little bit of everything, and I had a, a, a legislator on, et cetera. So, so here's the thing. If I came here ever and they told me that, Tom, you can't talk about this, I wouldn't be back, Eddie. I'd be gone. Now, let's take Tucker Carlson. Mm-hmm. Now, nobody really knows why he left Fox. He, he is probably the one of the top at Fox. I would put him above Hannity. You know, I, I Hannity. I would too. Han, Hannity just recycles the same statements over and over and over again, but they don't do anything. You know, they say, well, this, that, and the other, but they don't do anything. They get so deep into a subject and then it sort of stops. It doesn't go any deeper. What would now, you, that's, uh, why? We're about to go off the rails because this is really interesting, your, your opinion about this. What should be done once you go deep into a subject? I, I I mean, that's the idea. I mean, I'm not a reporter. Right. I'm not a newspaper man or, or a news media thing. But there were, I always thought there are reporters. They go dig into crap. You know, they find the truth. Yeah. Where does that happen anymore, Eddie? Where, where, where's it at? I mean, now we got some, some off you know, media. Newsmax and some of the other places are, are a little bit less constrained. Let me mm-hmm. put it that way. A little bit willing but, but to be more realize that there are six billionaires around the world that own 90% plus of the media. Mm-hmm. So, so their agenda is what filters down to the news media. Their agenda is don't mess up the money. You just said the word, agenda. Yeah. There, there is an agenda about everything right now. And, and our own politicians attend the World Economic Forum and we already know what their agenda is. It's, it's depopulation. You know, the world is going to end. We have too many people in the world. That leads me back to a paper written in 1933 by a guy named George Bernard Shaw, who was a big influencer at that time in history. Yes, he and, was. And, and he was part of the Fabian Society. Look it up, folks. It, it, it's out there. And one of the pieces that he wrote w- was about... Well, we have the IRS in America. We need another commission to interview people that become a certain age. So they have to provide in depth why should you still be allowed to live. In other words, what is your, what is your value to society? And, and if you don't have a value to society, we're going to send you off to the Soylent Green factory. Okay. Remember that movie, Soylent oh, Green. They're eating people. They're eating people. And, and, and the scoops are coming. Uh, it, 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 is, it is so crazy that, that the stuff that I have read in research uh, on, on going on, uh, there it is right there is what I'm looking for. Is it because people aren't aware or because they're too scared to create self-awareness and go do the work? Or are we just lemmings? <laughs> well, how do, we, how do we fix it, Eddie? I, I, I mean... This is this I'd is I'd go less Soylent Green and more Logan's Run, but it's the it's the same outcome, isn't it? It it, it is. It is. It, it's just like right now the 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 debt, okay? I got the numbers. I got them yesterday. Mm. 34.274 trillion. Okay? That that's per citizen in America. That's 101,949. That's that's on your on your chain. Yeah, good luck. It, Eddie, okay, unfunded liability. Mm-hmm. What's that? Social Security, the promise of future payments. Right. Social Security, Give Medicare Part now, A, B, and D. We'll, we'll hang on to and, it. And the, and the benefits and pensions for the 23 million government employees, they are the largest employer, mm-hmm. and the military. And that number is $212.994 trillion. So, so, and that is... 
Six hundred and thirty-three thousand per citizen. So I'm up to seven hundred and thirty. Seven hundred and thirty-five. Yeah, three twenty-two thousand per citizen. And 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 here he, here's the thing, Eddie. I, you know, we're talking about this, and I, I sometimes I feel like I'm 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 the chicken out in the courtyard. You know, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. Chicken a little. But you better cover your head, folks. You better put some protective cover over top of you because the sky is falling and and th- there's no way to stop it today in what's going on so it's inevitable that that there is going to be a major reset now we heard the word if you if you look at the news media the world they're talking about the great reset mm-hmm. and 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 that is part of what leads into this our federal reserve in the united states if they were a bank they would be in default right now they'd have been in default before right now well let me ask you this how do you convince people that's a bad thing when somebody says well if i'm on the hook for seven hundred thirty three thousand dollars and they do a great reset does that mean i'm not on the hook for seven hundred thirty three thousand dollars well, should, should i should or does I, that should, mean soil and should, green should i reread nasara jassar remember that paper i do Th- this was created in 2010 or 2011 Nasara is national. Jisara is global. Zeroes out all credit card, mortgage, and other banks due to debt due debt due to illegal banking and government activities. This is the Federal Reserve's worst nightmare. You know these dollars that we use that say Federal Reserve. There's nothing about the government in our money today. It is a private banking institution. Mm -hmm. The banking cartel, as I refer to it as. uh, They referred to themselves as a cartel for a time. They did in the beginning, and the government didn't like that. So the government allowed them to change their name to the Federal Reserve. There is nothing federal about them. They are all privately owned banks. In fact, the group of men were all millionaire bankers. And and, and back then, the millions I'm talking about back then are like billions today. They were the richest people in the world the bankers that controlled the money and some business people back in 1913 when the Federal Reserve was created. Go read the book, The, the, the Creature of Jekyll Island. Uh, it is an interesting book and, and a great read and a great story to understand what's going on. So, so here we are today. Do we sit back and just allow America to deteriorate to nothing? Is is. I mean, what is your opinion right now? Of, I mean, look around you. Are you paying attention at all to what's going on? Uh, I mean, have you seen the news at the big cities in, in New York and, and, and what's going on in Chicago and California and, and where all these immigrants are? I, I'm not an anti-immigrant, but there is a system and a proper legal way for people to come into our country to just open the door and allow them to come in and then turn them loose across the country we're already starting to see the criminals start to show up in, in, in what's going on. If, get, get, if ready, I, get ready, folks, because the riots that we have seen in the last number of years, the political riots and all that, they're not going to be nothing compared to the immigrants that are going to get ticked off. I'll be nice when I say it. Ticked off about their treatment here because they're, they're not getting all the givies. You know, in other words, all the gimmies. So some of the cities have now actually started to move them out of, of some of the properties. Mm-hmm. And, and so now you're on your own, and, and that's not going to go well because these people are going to react. What they do we have do? Nothing, they have nothing to lose, Eddie. What, right. what, do, what do they have to lose? They're here. They brought nothing with them. They came here, they, you know, crossed the border, broke the law, were shuffled, shuffled all through America, you know, human trafficking, mm-hmm. and, and, and here we are, okay? So anyway, let, let, let's get – it wasn't my goal to be so negative after the, the news at 9.30. But, but it's hard. It poked you with a stick, it, didn't it? it? Well, it, it, all it really does is it makes it more important, Eddie – to, to start looking at what you're doing and try to figure out what is the right thing to do, not just what the federal government and the Federal Reserve and, and, and the Wall Street people are telling you. I, I, have, I have some positive things, okay? Good. IBD's 10 Secret to Success. Now, this is a newspaper article from about 2010, January 2010. 
mm-hmm. Wall Street Investors Business Daily newspaper, okay? IBD's 10 Secrets to Success. Number one, how you think is everything. Always be positive, think success, not failure. Beware of a negative environment. Now, what, what do I always talk about, Eddie? The principles of prosperity? It's hard think. to. Number, rule number one hmm. is how you think. The six inches between your ears, cultivating that properly, will determine your future success. Number two, decide upon your true dreams and goals. And, and I, I meet with thousands of people over the years, and very seldom do I find somebody that has any realistic solid, this is what I mean, this is what I'm going to be. You know, they have a purpose, they're going somewhere, they have dreams and goals. You need to work on that, folks, because that's, that's the fuel that fires your furnace to motivation. Take action. Goals are nothing without action. Don't be afraid to get started, just do it. How many people, Eddie, you know, they talk a good story, but they never put it into motion, they never put it in action. It's easier to tell you what, what, going to get done than to do it. Don't tell me, show me. That's exactly right. Don't tell me, show me. Right. Never stop learning. Go back to school or read books. Get training and acquire skills. How many of you have read Think and Grow Rich? How many of you read How to Win Friends and Influence People? Those two books. And the third one, The The Magic of Thinking Big by Dr. Schwartz. Those three books have had more influence in my life over the years, and and I read all three of them once a year. I read them years and years ago, and that was when my attitude was, I'd read a book and I'd say, okay, fix me. I read the book, you told me to read the book, I I read the book. I filled out the quiz at the end. Fix me, I even made some notes in the book, fix me. But until you read a book and make it part of your thinking, it's not gonna make a difference. Be persistent and work hard. I mean, that's almost an oxymoron today. You know, work hard. Uh, Success is a marathon, not a sprint. You never give up. What did I say about the coin? It's a a reminder that you never quit. You never, never, never give up. Learn to analyze detail. The principles that (laughs) I talk about. Good luck teaching society that one, my friend. Think and then then measure, okay? Mm -hmm. If, If you don't measure correctly... You never get an answer, and measuring correctly has to include opportunity cost. Now, what is opportunity cost? That's that dollar that I lose unknowingly or unnecessarily, the interest it would have earned for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. And and every the average family that, that is, I, I would say, above poverty level loses over a lifetime a minimum of $3 million that is recapturable. How many people do you know, Eddie, end up in retirement with two or three million dollars? Not very many. Not very, well, remember the hundred person story? Yeah. You know, one ends up rich, four are well off, five are still working because they can't stop, 36 have died, and 54 are dependent on outside sources for their survival. Learn to analyze details, get all the facts. People are not listening. People are not listening. They, 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 they close their mind to new ideas. That's like looking at the future and saying, there's never going to be a new invention, Eddie. We, we're done. We've invented everything there is to we've, invent or create. We've there's never going to gonna the be end. any more. That's, and, what a horrible way to go through life, though, Tom. I, I, is to, is to, that not to, the way a lot of people are? They're just closed-minded. They don't want to hear anything new. It, it's just like the never Trumpers. you uh-huh. know. And, and, and I'll talk about that. I, I mean, I don't necessarily like the guy's personality, but I sure like the results that he got the four years that, that he was there. Even with all of the crap that he had to put up with, 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 the, with the deep state trying to destroy him with the Russian hoax law, lies, we know it was all lies now, but yet people still believe it wasn't. And, and it's just like all the indictments. They, they, well, he's, he, he's, he's guilty. They already, he's guilty. I don't like the man, so he's guilty. He already did it. Get over it. Don't be afraid to innovate. Be different. If you do everything like everybody else, Eddie, you're only guaranteed to get the average of what everybody else got. That's a tough thing because most people, uh, to be different is to be quite often have pointed out and mocked 
I, well, then, then you got to deal with peer pressure when you're right. when you're different. Right. You know. Well, well, what is that? It, it was when I was in the, real active in the Amway business thirty years ago, nineteen ninety two, mm-hmm. and 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 I remember. You know, you talk to somebody, you say, "Oh, I was in that. You can't make any money in that." Well, I made money at that, Eddie. I became a direct distributor and made. I mean, I saw checks worth three, four thousand dollars a month when I was doing that because I was willing to go do the work. The work. Yeah. And, and and most people don't have the idea of what work is. Gumption. Deal and communicate with people effectively. There's that book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Dale Carnegie. It, it is the key. It is the third most printed book in, in history. Behind the Bible? Bi- the Bible is number one. Right. But, but thinking, or not think, uh, thinking, How to Grow Win Rich. Friends and Influence People mm-hmm. by Dale Carnegie mm-hmm. is the third most printed book in the world. Be honest and dependable. Take responsibility, and 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 that we we see slipping away. And 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 let me let me round out with this because this is what it's all about, folks. Who are you the example for? You know, my first professional talk. The title of it was BTE. Be the example, and I talked about the examples that I experienced growing up, and 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 eventually was able to overcome some of that. But here's, here's my little close for today. The little chap who follows me, a careful man I want to be, a little fellow follows me. I do not dare to go astray for fear he'll go the self same way. I cannot want to escape his eyes. Whatever he sees in me do, he tries. Like me, he says he's going to be the little chap who follows me. <sighs> he thinks that I'm so very fine. Believes in every word of mine. The base in me he must not see, the little chap who follows me. I must remember as I go through summer sun and winter snow, I am building for the years to be, the little chap who follows me. That's beautiful. And it's all about Hunter and Archer, my two grandsons. Yeah, that's beautiful. You know, what are, who, are you, who are you the example for? Who's looking at you and watching what you do? I want to close with a simple yes or no question. Has America lost the passion? You just I, demonstrated. I, I don't believe so. We're going through a, a period right now where I believe the good will rise again. Okay. I, I have no doubt. God is in control. The good will rise again. I'm Tom Young. You can get me at 724-728-6820. I dare you to come and sit with me for 45 minutes. I'll make you two promises. I will not ask you to buy a thing. There will not be another meeting unless you want it, and I can promise you that the information you will walk away from with from my office will change your life. God bless you all. Next time I take a day off, you're you're up for it? Oh, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. I mean, it's fun. It's 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 fun in a weird way, isn't it? it? Tom filled in for me last week when I was off. Isn't it a weird job? It it it, it is. You know, it's just uh, it was the time I didn't realize well, I did because I did it last year one time. Mm-hmm. But but the hours that go into the material so that I have a cohesive flow mm-hmm. to get through what I got through. And, and I still had stuff that I didn't get to. So I had more than enough, just like when I come here for this hour. But that, that's beautiful. Having too much, you're okay. Not having enough. <laughs> Oh, it's a bad feeling. It's and, a one to one ratio typically. And, and, and they know out there, you know, out oh, there yeah. they they know when you're you're flowing yeah. along. Hey, I was talking about politics, but I ran out of information, so now I'm gonna make balloon animals for an hour. <laughs> yeah, well I, I did get to hear a little of it. You can fill in for me once in a while, not too much. Doing too uh, good absolutely. a job, I mean. I, I really enjoyed wrong. it, Eddie. I really enjoyed it. Tom Young, my fill in and first consultants and Great seeing you. I love when you get emotional. You can't fake it. They're they're, they're on my I sleeves, know. Eddie. I, I you know you, you can't lie when you're emotional. No, that's true. You think of people you meet to get emotional. Yeah, there's got to be truth and honesty in that, and some bluntness. Uh, yeah, yeah. The place for news, sports, and entertainment. You're listening to Beaver County Radio, ninety nine point three FM and twelve thirty WBVP, coming to you live from the all new Fry Transportation Studios. Here's Dale Reckless from MRS Physical Therapy as he explains the importance of pre sports testing to help you reduce the risk of injury. The intrinsic factors are looking at things within our body that could be causing the problem. So 